Ahoy, ahoy everyone and welcome to the new BMW X2 review. This is a new SAV or sports activity vehicle from BMW. And let's talk about it. So at, we can see that it has an innovative design, not like many other models in the range with a very specific LED uh, headlights and taillights, real exhausts. Now it's a special color as well with the BMW badges on the side moving on a very nice aluminium wheels and of course we cannot forget to mention the LED headlights. So now let's go for a quick drive behind this uh, vehicle. It has a camouflage because it's not fully road legal yet, at least not in Slovakia. We've got uh, modern lines with expressive color variations and of course the M packet as seen here. Sitting inside and driving the BMW, it is a classic layout with positive and some negatives at the same time. You know where the controls for HVAC, of course, vents are, the radio, all is clear and legible. So that's very nice, but uh, you know, at the same time, it doesn't look as modern as the exterior. I there are many nice lines, the quality of materials is excellent, stitching on the dash is nice. There are some wood panels available, of course, and as well as aluminum trims. Overall, there is a great feel from the cabin. The plus or minuses are that it's a traditional gear selector, not the joystick found, for example, in the new X4. And personally, I like the gear selector much more. Of course, as seen here, there is a good ambient lighting, even in the rear seats. There is not much space for me. I'm 191 centimeters tall, but it's fine for anyone lower than me. Uh, of course, not to mention uh, the fantastic iDrive system, which we will get to in a second. Uh, in front of the driver we can see an instrument panel, which looks very similar to a digital panel, but in reality it's a normal tachometer and speedometer. But it's less customizable, but still very nice and easier to read and it doesn't blind you. So that's good. Now, to the important stuff, how does this new vehicle from BMW drive? At least, uh, it's a traditional BMW in the sense that you get a good feeling from the car. You have an excellent driving position from nearly anyone behind the steering wheel, at least. As I'm talking, you can see that I'm changing also the LED ambient lightning package, which is also, of course, an option or it will be, we will get to the options uh, in a second. Now, uh, let's talk about the options. You can pause, of course, to see what they are, but there is, this is the fullest top spec vehicle, you know, they want to show up how, how we would work. 64,000 uh, US dollars or today euros in Slovakia. The retail price for this X2 2.0 TD uh, DI and X Drive Motion, of course. Now, on the steering wheel, we also can find the controls for ACC and so on. There are plenty of assists with stop and go function. Steering intervention works on just on multi lanes on the highways above 60 kilometers an hour or sorry 2 to the 60 kilometers an hour it also has a 8 also has an HUD head-up display in front of a driver which is not visible here but it does have it and it's very nice it works bright not a strain on the eyes it works possibly one of the best on any vehicles Forget to mention the roadside assist, the roadside recognition system, driving feel, it's precise, the vehicle handles great, really for what it is, it doesn't feel heavy, but the steering is very nicely weighted and that's good. Uh, and transmission is perfect really in this vehicle and an 8-speed ZF transmission, always responsible and finds the gears. 
Also, we've got the manual selection on the steering wheels as well as on the gear selector uh, itself. It's quick responsive and of course in Sport Pass mode is more responsive than in other modes. One bit that I don't like, especially you can see it, that the bumpiness of this car is quite high. Not that it doesn't suit the style of the vehicle, but it's like a mini countryman, which I had the experience also to, to drive. And uh, it's a very stylish vehicle, interesting for you if you want one, you can buy one, of course. It's less practical than an X1, but uh, still very nice with the NX drive. Uh, it always finds grips and that's, that doesn't even understeer much and that's, that's all really I have to say. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we will see you in the next video. Ciao ciao!